Today's Bible study is titled Expectations of Resting to Walk Part 3. As I noted in Parts 1 and 2, due to many years of a frustrated walk, any time I now hear about the walk of a believer and member of the body of Christ, I must go back and frame that walk as it is summarized in the overall teaching of the Apostle Paul and particularly in his Ephesian epistle. A few key words in Ephesians direct us to how this is all supposed to work. These are sit, walk, and stand. After looking at sit and walk the past two days, today we'll look at stand as regards our attitude toward the enemy. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore. Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 14. From our position of rest, seated in the heavenlies in Christ, and having come to walk therefrom, we are thereafter to stand, the reason for which we see as we break this down. The whole preface of this instruction to stand is predicated on being strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Not our strength, oxymoron, but His and resting therein. And it is a good thing, for in being instructed to stand, we are told to put on the whole armor of God. It is only in His armor that we will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Remember the devil is a defeated foe, but he is also master liar. And the truth about our adversary the devil, that he doesn't want you to see, is that he has no power in our lives except what we give him. Thus, the devil's wiles and the description of just what we wrestle with. So, taking the whole armor of God enables us to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. With this in mind, Paul writes, Stand therefore. So be sure you see what the therefore is there for. Tomorrow, we will wrap this up and discuss the principle of resting to walk and the expectations we can have as a result of our truth rest. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.